If you're doing a trailer build, stop everything you're doing and watch this. Welcome to the Mr. Bubbles channel where we dish out awesome pressure washing business advice to beginners and today's episode is actually part three of our new pressure washing trailer build so if you have not yet watched parts one and two I suggest after this video you go back so you can follow along and understand that you know why we're doing what we're doing and, and today what we're actually going to do is one of the most important parts this part three is uh, we're gonna stage everything out. We're gonna prep everything out. Of course, nothing's gonna be tied down or, or plumbed or, or bolted down, but, but this, this is an important part of the trailer build. And by the way, by the way, if, uh, if you are, are interested, I do have a blueprint of how to build, uh, how to do a, a, a pressure washing trailer build. So you can actually follow along because that blueprint is also the script of, of my entire series. So if you want that, my, you will find my email in the description below. So go ahead and look for that and uh, email me and I will email you our blueprint for the trailer build. But anyway, so to me, one of the most important parts of the trailer build is the staging part, because in this part, you're going to get to measure things out and, 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 and sort of get a visual for what it is that you're trying to achieve, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this on time lapse for you guys. You guys are going to get to see, I got all the materials here off, cam uh, uh, off camera, and you guys are going to get to see me put that on there. And then at the end of the time lapse, I'll go ahead and do a walk around for for you guys so i'll catch you guys on the other side okay there you have it guys this is one of my favorite parts of the trailer build because you get to see exactly what it is that you're trying to build and uh and, and also this is a very important part because you get to measure things out and see you know if you need to make any adjust adjustments and um you know move things about and, and see exactly what uh what the space is going to be so i really like this part of the build but i really wanted to talk to you guys about this um uh, the potential of a tra of a of a trailer like this you know you, if your trailer is set up correctly guys and 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 that's why i'm doing this series so you can copy as close as possible to what i'm doing with the equipment in the description below you guys will be able to build pretty much the same build that I'm doing here with the exception of, you know, my, my machine's a five gallon a minute. The machine in the description below is a four gallon a minute, but you're going to be able to do around three, four houses a day. So what does that mean? That means that you're going to be able to max out around some number between 700 to a thousand dollars a day, I would say. But, uh, I, you know, my favorite saying guys, my favorite thing to say is, you know, you have to grow your business before you grow your equipment. And then as your business starts to grow and you become more confident in your ability out there, then uh, you're going to slowly up, up, upgrade your equipment, you know, through time. So that's what I highly recommend. But, uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go back to the shop and uh, do the walk around together. Okay, guys, like I was saying, I wanted to do a complete walk around of the trailer with the trailer, um, you know, everything on the trailer, the trailer staged. Again, this is part three. And uh, this right here is a Honda 690. If you have not done so yet, uh, three episodes before this one, I'm sorry, four episodes before this one, the episode right before we started the series, I actually did a tune-up on this machine, a complete tune-up. So we changed the air filter, the oil filter, we changed the spark plugs, so make sure you watch that. But anyway, now at the very end here, uh, this, this toolbox here, you see it's not set or anything, nothing's bolted down. I'm also going to show you guys how to install the toolbox to the front of your trailer. So some of you guys might be wondering how we get that done. So anyway, so Honda 690, five and a half GPM machine. You can see here, down here, uh, this is the filter that is uh, in the description below. This is the filter that we use from Amazon. You see my siphon tube right here connected to my downstream injector. And all I would have to do is put it right here to the, to the water outlet there, right, for my machine. So you got the siphon tube. It's already in the chemical tank 
right here. This is a 50 gallon tank, okay? It's a horizontal tank as opposed to, you've seen those, some of the guys, they have the tall stand-up tanks. Of course, we have some of those as well. But for this build here, of course, we're using the horizontal one. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about this equipment and why we're using it. So, like I said in uh, the episode where <clears throat> I did the, uh, where I did the tune-up, we have four of these machines in storage. So all of the equipment that you guys see in the description below, that's your starter kit, right? And so my equipment, I'm using my equipment that I have as backup because I literally have enough equipment to build about five or six trailers. So that's why we're using this guy here, which is a five and a half GPM machine. So professionals are using five gallons and up, right? So I, w I just wouldn't use, it's been six, seven years since I used a four gallon a minute machine. Now, what's interesting is both of these tanks right here, okay? I'll tell you guys a quick story. I was searching on Marketplace for about a month looking for different things that I could buy for the build. I ended up finding these two tanks right here, guys. 250 bucks okay that's a 50 gallon tank that's a 200 gallon buffer tank okay and some of you guys that are new to the industry and you're not familiar with the word buffer tank buffer tank is just a, a a fancy way of saying that it's a water tank you see down here there's a plug here but eventually we're going to plumb this together that's going to connect to your to your filter right here and then that's going to connect to the to the machine right so what feeds the machine is not the the customer's uh spigot like we're not going to connect to the customer's spigot to feed our machine what feeds our machine is this 200 gallon buffer tank and that's more than enough and look at this guys we have enough space here uh this is just a, a milk crate you see that a milk crate i actually got uh, like six or seven of them from the grocery store. I just went up there and asked them for them and they gave them to me And then I got a bucket in here and then I got the the pump sprayer again <clears throat> guys all of this equipment is in the description below so you can uh, get this uh the pump sprayer that we use they're excellent it's the best i've ever had and uh this uh siphon tube is something i've mentioned before of course the siphon tube would go in a chemical tank uh, if you guys watch my episode 14 i did a a, a uh, episode about this siphon tube it's actually guys the same siphon tube from that uh, episode okay so you see how the tubing here is connected to my siphon tube my siphon tube would go in my chemical tank then when i need uh when i uh, want to rinse it out i'll just put it in my water tank my buffer tank and then like i said the siphon tube is going to be connected to your downstream injector which is connected to your machine now i know it looks complicated to some of you guys that are new but you're going to get to see exactly how we plumb this guy so let's continue here of course this is our marketing part two the board that we put up and then the other thing is i wanted to show you guys again the gun host remember that look at that guys how it blends and like you can't even really tell it's there unless you know what you're looking at so what i did here is i put a uh just a bungee bungee cord for now that's a 20 inch surface cleaner and guess what guys look i was able to put another milk crate with uh with uh four different chemicals on there so that's a great option for you guys you know so you you're not carrying chemicals in your truck or or loose somewhere and uh, it, it's right there and it fits like like the four gallon of milk you, you see that so that's perfect and then our hose reels so the hose reels as you can see here on the side summit right so guess what i have eight of these reels and when was it i want to say it was about four years ago three or four years ago we um with uh, in combination with our you know one of our vendors i've mentioned them before um absolute pressure washing in oldington maryland so you know shout out to them if you're local to the dmv you can go pick up equipment so about four years ago we switched all of our hose reels to uh to steel eagle right so our our our, our all of our rigs you can see here how this looks fairly new and it's because we took it off and we switched it out for a steel eagle so this is going to be this is going to be your pressure line right here okay i got a small whip line connected to it but that's all going to come apart and i'm going to show you guys and the reels are not going to sit this low they're going to be about this high right here 
right? Because I'm going to show you guys how to create your base for your reels, okay? So this is your water reel. You see here how it's connected to a super swivel. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a plumbing all the way to right here. I'm going to show you guys within the next couple of episodes how we're going to plumb the top of our tanks with our bulkheads. So I'm going to show you guys that. And so that's your two reels. Let me let me, let me me see if I can, uh, from a little further away so you can see it real good. And I don't know if I, if I said this in the beginning, that right there is the gas can and that is the battery for the for the machine right so you see that that gas can by the way is uh six six gallons and in my experience through the years guys you're getting about a gallon per house wash so you can do four to six houses easy when that tank is full so you and you see here like i said the the your uh, surface cleaner i just have it right there out of the way it's very tight it's not going to jump around on you right there and again 200 uh 200 gallon buffer tank guys now i do have a buffer tank in that description below for you guys but it's not 200 gallons it's 100 gallons you order it through amazon but first i would check marketplace because like i said i don't i, I i'm not even kidding you guys i got that tank and that tank i went with 200 dollars cash and a guy took it so there you go and we'll do we'll do another quick walk around just so i could because in this and this part, the walk around, I'm sorry, the, the staging part, right? Which is in your trailer build also. It's very important because this is where I'm kind of eyeballing stuff. And, you know, because I'm holding the camera, I'm not going to bust out my measuring tape. But this is where I would be measuring and seeing if everything's going to be able to fit. Like we need footers right here. Uh, of course, you guys are going to see that. But I can already see just from the spacing that we are going to be 100% okay. And then uh, the as soon as we're done here with the walk around of the of the of the trailer, I am going to show you guys how we're going to bolt the the toolbox down. And and I always recommend 100% that you you get a toolbox. Now this one right here, by the way, let me let me make a quick comment about this. This toolbox has been with me for. I want to say about eight years, guys. I bought this two box for 75 bucks from an old lady who wanted me to take it off a truck they were going to sell. And, and there was a lot of tools. So I knocked on her doors and I, I, was I told her, I said, hey, I didn't realize this, but you got a bunch of tools uh, still in that toolbox. And she's like, hey, she was like, honey, if you can take it off the truck with the tools and everything, the, the thing's yours. So I bought it for 75 bucks. But I, I, I kid you not, it had about maybe $1,500 worth of tools in it. So I got really lucky. But this has been with me, and it's been on one of my trucks. But last year, we got rid of that truck. So now, you know, it's been sitting. So this is perfect. And again, guys, Honda 690, 5.5 GPM. You can see right here, this is the gas line. You see that right there, those two lines? And then they just connect right here to the pressure washer. We got our electrical lines right here. Of course, it's not gonna go over the pump like this. It's gonna go underneath the machine right here, all the way to the, to the back. So that's, I like that. That's really out of the way there, okay? And then, like I said, we're gonna plumb everything out. I love having this, um, I love just having this, uh, being able to carry extra stuff here, like your your pump sprayer. You can you can fit other things in here, like um, like your uh, your your deck brush or your dustpan. You know, for when you're cleaning out uh, basement stairwells. Everything's real snug here, really good. And then uh, and then I, I, you know you're not going to use your surface cleaner at every single job, but I like having this out of here, out of the way. I do like this here if not for chemicals, for something else. And um, of course, these reels here are kind of tight. You see how you can't even twist that? So uh, the spacing here is gonna be, have to be a little bit different, but this is just so you guys can get a general sense of, of what this thing is gonna end up being, right? So you see that right there. And again, guys, I said this in the other video, like you're, you're not doing a trailer build in less than 20 hours. There's just absolutely no way. But when it's all said and done, you know, you include the times, you gotta go to the store and get this, get that, and, 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 and buying all kinds of parts and stuff, it's going to take you 20 plus hours. So, you know, and then plus guys, you know what? I mean, you shouldn't rush your way through it anyway, right? 
like this is something that is going to feed you feed your family for a long time and it's going to make you money so you want it to last that's why you know you saw you guys saw in part one look how coarse that is guys look at that that's all that uh that rhino stuff right and so you know the bottom line is you want to build your build should be able to make you money for the next five years and up and and the idea here is guys the idea is you're going to do a build like this and then you're going to sell it and guess what guys guess what in five years from now i would be able to sell this rig for pretty much the same amount of money that it cost me to build it because these things hold value as long now let, let, let me say this as long as you take care of it right if you beat it up a lot and it looks like crap and you, you break all the lights and the trailer doesn't work anymore and you bend stuff then no you're not going to be able to sell it but if 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 you maintain your equipment and you take care of it you're going to be able to get your money's worth out of it and you'll be able to you know when you upgrade because the idea is this okay uh, and I know that 90% of you guys that listen to my channel, you guys are new guys, you know, spanking brand new guys. Now, the professionals would not use a trailer like this. Not really. Not really. And if they did, not for long. Right? Because we want, we want to be able to have more things on our trailer. We want, for example, a 400 gallon buffer tank, a 10 gallon a minute machine, two machines. You can't fit two machines on here. And so the bottom line is, eventually, you guys will have to upgrade your equipment as your skill sets grow, right? I talk about this all the time. The money really is not in the equipment. It's in the skill sets that you're going to develop through time. So, but there you have it. Now, what I'm going to do next is we're going we're gonna to go ahead and, uh, and, and I'm going to take everything off the trailer, off camera. And then I'm going to catch you guys on this other side here because we're going to put this... Uh, this uh this toolbox together so i'll see you guys over there okay guys as you can see here the only thing i have left on the trailer is the machine and i am going to do a quick walk around here for you guys because i'm explaining i want to explain to you exactly what it is that i'm doing and why i'm doing it now there's a handful of ways that you can put you can connect a um a, a toolbox to your trailer now ideally you want to have a toolbox that is the size of that v-neck there and they do make those if you want to buy them you know this again i would find this on marketplace as a matter of fact i wanted to tell you this guys about three days ago i saw the same toolbox on marketplace for 125 bucks so they're not that expensive used right so but if you want to get a brand new one you might want to get one that matches the size of the v-neck because as you can see here ideally you know if we want to drill we want to drill straight onto here however you see how the this is 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 wider than the trailer there the v-neck of the trailer so it's going to be hard to find a stud from the inside now the other way that i could then i was thinking about doing it because i've done it this way before it was creating a wooden base and then bolting uh bolting the toolbox itself to the wooden base but the way but it, but the, uh, the other way that i was going to do it is you see this metal bar you can't I, I guess you can't tell see this right here guys this is two and a half inches so that's a lot of drilling that's one way to go but i am opting for the easiest oh no but hold on a second let me show you something guys the real reason why i'm not bolting straight to there is because of this you see this gap i would be drilling into this gap right here and then it was also curved in the inside so it's not ideal for putting a bolt there so what i'm going to do instead is i got uh, i got some brackets that i'm going to show you guys and i am going to drill right here right here and then the same on the other side and again i got uh, three eight two two three eight bolts that i'm going to put through here and then i am going to um, to put brackets and then the other thing that i'm going to show you is this the other thing that we are going to do to together is i am going to put this vice grip uh, by the way this vice grip i ordered on amazon it was like what's that was 40 bucks it's like 40 49 bucks something like that but anyway and then in the very end once this thing is completely uh you know in there uh this is just a little bit of mud from from when i moved it but uh when it's all in there guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this together so let me go ahead and put this on a tripod and, and show you guys uh how to get this done Thank <laughs> you. 
There you have it, guys. I can't stress enough the importance of having a toolbox whenever you guys do end up getting uh, your trailer built. And if you already have a trailer right now and you're listening to me, uh, I would definitely recommend you guys putting a toolbox on there because at the end of the day, guys, you know, a toolbox is going to be very useful. It's going to help you conserve time. And the biggest thing, the number one thing is about organization. It's about keeping all of your tools organized. So I, I really love the toolbox because one, I like putting the device on it because it's out of the way, but you know, you never know, or you never really understand the importance of a vice until you need it. It's one of those things, you know what I mean? You, uh, you're going to hate your life if you don't have it when you need it. So, and then the other thing is, you know, you always got to carry backup equipment, right? Backup wands. I can't even tell you guys how many times over a 11 uh, year career, how many times the wand broke on me. Or, you know, you need a backup, a downstream injector. You need a, a, a toolbox with a lot of different tools in it. So the bottom line is having a toolbox is going to help you in a lot of different aspects of your business. The other thing is with marketing, you can have a little box full of your marketing materials in there and you know and it's it's not only going to help you become more organized but it is also going to help you become a lot more efficient out there because you know as things start to break down on you you're basically like a mo like at that point you're a mobile mechanic with all the tools and things that you're going to have in there and then also it just looks more professional from my point of view you know when you pull up to a person's house and you know you you got that big toolbox and you got that real professional looking rig and you got the marketing in the back so highly recommend and where to get it so i recommend uh you guys look a marketplace first you will find these things for Anywhere between 80 to 150 bucks. Of course, brand new ones, they cost, you know, four or 500 bucks. But, uh, but yeah, let's go back to the shop and uh, do the walk around together. Okay, guys, uh, you just saw me on time lapse there. And again, I had showed you how we were going to do this. You see the bracket right there? Uh, th this is a 3 8 bolt. And uh, that little bracket as well, I bought that at Tractor Supply. So you see how perfect that worked right there? And I, I, you know, this bracket here, I just drilled, you saw me drilling two holes and then I just put the three eighths bolts through it. And then I uh, used um, uh, some washers, lock washers. Let me show you the other side real quick. And now, well, now the only thing left here is um, to, uh, to put this uh, vise. And that's what we're gonna do la Well, we're gonna do the vise together and then we're going to, you're gonna see me paint this as well. We're gonna do two coats of black again to, you know, to do the, make sure uh, everything's uniform with the trailer. So you see that guy, same thing. Look, you see it up close. Again, this is a 3 8 bolt, 3 8 And uh, it just went through just like that. And let me see if I can open this here with the camera. Real quick, give me a second here, guys. Ooh. Oh, give me a second here, guys. Up oh, there you go. All right, and you can see in there, look at that. You see that? You can you barely, barely see it. So, and, and, oh, I wanted to show you this. See how there's a locking nut? I'm sorry, locking washer on there. That was what I was trying to say, locking washer. So, uh, that's what you want to do. So here, I just put a regular washer and then uh, that bracket right there and guys i mean i tugged and tugged on this thing i mean let me show you here from this corner here i tugged and tugged on this thing and i mean you can see here let me the whole trailer moves with it i mean it, it ain't going nowhere nowhere because i mean it's got four bolts it's not moving 
anywhere not up or down not left or right or anything it's extremely tight and like i said on this side right here next thing that we're gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna set this back down on uh on the on the tripod because i can show you here on the other side here this is where we're gonna put the this is where we're gonna put the vise and real easy to install guys when this comes from amazon by the way when you get it it doesn't come with the bolts but you see here um it just has four bolts and i'm literally just gonna drill again three eighths i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in place i'm gonna mark it with the pencil where to drill and i'm gonna drill four holes and we're gonna put it in there so i'll catch you guys on the other side doing that okay guys as you can see here we got our vice where it's gonna go by the way this is uh you can get these at home depot uh great shop pencil it's a little bit thicker than a normal like uh, number 12 pencil so i'm just literally gonna go like that and mark right there where the drills hole is gonna go just like that i can already see it in there looks really good right in the center there and i'm gonna do that twice by the way just to double check you know just to be on a safe side one that's the that's the second one right there this is the second one that's good and i can see it i'm looking right at the and I, i'm literally just drawing the little little dimple there where x marks the spot there you go that's done let's go ahead and drill this guy and then we'll go ahead and bolt this down. We got our drill. Remember this drill, guys? It's in the link below. And also this vise is in the link below. So here we go. Hole number one. There we go. Number two. Be careful with the metal shave is because i don't want to have a flat tire later got it's nothing but woods that way there you go the first two are down there you go that's in the books one to go There you go, guys. <clears throat> now we're gonna put this vise on there together. Let me grab my bolts. First, I'm gonna open this real good. Okay, there we go. Same bolts, guys, three eighths. You can see them right here, look. Three eighths bolt. Little washer on it. You guys get to see me right here, up close and personal. Get the little nut. I'm already through, guys. Put this first one. The first one is the hardest one. Of course, there'll be a little bit of help easier with a, with a helper, but like I said, my guys are off for like a four days straight. So, that one's in there. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put the second one in there. Again, with the little washer. Oh, right in there. Almost there guys and then we'll tighten these two and then the bottom two and then the last thing left is uh we'll just uh have to spray paint and that that's it 
like a glove like a glove and I don't know if I've mentioned this yet I will mention this several times throughout the series um, I'm also doing a truck build series a lot of you guys a lot of you guys have been asking me for that it's gonna be episodes uh, 110 to 120 now I, I'm gonna say something else about this series the truck build series give me a second here guys right through there you see that guys boom perfect the truck build series episode 110 through 120 I got a coaching client of mine Joe he's bringing me his truck all the equipment that is in the description below all of that stuff he ordered the ladder rack all of that stuff and I'm actually gonna be doing the build for him and it's one of the perks of being a, a, a client of Mr. Bubble so you know um, I talk about this all the time with you guys that I coach a lot of guys in the industry so that's something that uh, you guys are definitely gonna want to look into as you uh, build and grow your business all right there we go so now let's tighten this up okay we're using the same exact tools that we use to create our gate okay there we go oh 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 it's dropped there guys yeah there we go so yeah i'm excited about that as well guys episode uh like i said one 110 to 120. You guys are going to get to see me do a truck build as well. Okay, now we're going to do this one, this side, and done. Oh, in there, real good. There you go. That's as tight as that will get. And let's do the last one together. And there you have it. That's all she wrote, guys. I see it on there? It is on there, man. That thing is on there tight. So next, guys, I'm going to put this on a different uh, tripod on the other side. And we're going to spray paint this thing together. And then at the very end, we'll do another uh, another walkthrough here of the, of, the, of the toolbox for you guys. All right, so I'll catch you guys on the other side. Okay guys, before we paint the toolbox, I want to show you this real quick because I was doing a complete walk around of the of the of the toolbox and I wanted to make sure that it was sitting properly. So I actually went underneath and I noticed, let me show you this real quick. You see this bar right here? So this bar, all the trailers have that bar. It's a crossbar that gives it more strength. And uh, well, that metal bar is five inches wide and it goes about three inches into the, into the trailer. So that gave me the idea of, of bolting that to the trailer. And that's why I busted out this guy right here. This is my big guns right there. And this drill bit here, I will put on the screen here for you guys to make it super, super simple for you. I bought this at Lowe's. Guys, this drill bit here cut through that metal like it wasn't even there like it was switch cheese and let me show you inside here what what uh what i'm talking about you see this bolt right here so i mean it's not actually bolted on yet but you can see it right there look at that guys you can see all the way to the ground down there and that is uh you know it, i already cut all the way through to the to that to that beam so you see that and then that bolt right there let me show you this right here so the bolt right here it's only two inches you see that but i actually got um two locking washers and two regular washers on there and of course you know you see this here 
I mean, this this is going to be solid. And again, the reason why I'm doing this, guys, is because now the toolbox is also going to be bolted down to to the trailer itself, right? So, you know, like I said before, you know, we want to make this so it lasts us seven to ten years. And guys, that toolbox here, I mean, the only way it's going to leave and, and, and get off this, this trailer is if we take it off of there. So now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a tripod for you guys and on time lapse as you guys watch me spray paint it and I'll catch you guys on the other side. Okay guys, you know, the this part here is gonna be totally optional. Of course, uh, you know, it's gonna look a lot more professional if you do this, if you have a, a silver toolbox. You guys gotta remember, this toolbox has been sitting in my yard for, a little, I think a year and a half, but definitely over a year. But, uh, you know, it's been getting rained on and it's looking kind of shabby. So, you know, it's definitely gonna look more professional if you paint it. You might actually find a black one on Marketplace. And that, in that case there, all you need to do is paint your vice. And the vice I definitely recommend, guys, take it from me, professional, been in the field now for 11 years. And I can't even tell you the number of times I have needed the vice out in the field with me. So highly recommend that. And then also, guys, I mean, really, what are we talking about here? With the with the spray and the vice added an extra 100 bucks. Like I said, this toolbox originally, I bought it for 75. But I also told you guys, I mean, I just saw the same exact Toolbox, same size and everything on Marketplace here in my local area for $125. And, and so I, I noticed also that it is black. So you can find it. I would just keep looking. Um, I highly recommend you put that on there because it does make a difference. But what I really, really wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, obviously you guys are seeing here on um, because you're following the series. Guys, doing a trailer build is a lot of work. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you guys. It's uh, it's something that is just time consuming. It's not like you don't have to be a rocket science scientist to do it. It's not no brain surgery. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's going to take time. And, uh, you know, you guys, 90, I would say, what, 95, 96 percent of you guys, if not more, have a full time job. So you're going to do this on the weekends and, you know, you're going to work on it little by little, maybe three to four, maybe five hours a week until you get this done. So this is what I actually recommend you guys do. So as I've mentioned before, I have that blueprint. I can email you that blueprint. I will put for you here on the screen, my email, ask at mrbubbles.com. Again, ask at mrbubbles.com. Guys, email me. I'll send you that blueprint. That blueprint is broken up into 10 different parts, 10 different things that you have to do. And so what's going to happen here is very simple. You will be able to do one thing at a time. So every week you're going to do, a, you know, something a little bit different. You know, uh, what I would do actually is, you know, acquire equipment little by little. You know, if you guys can go ahead and order everything all at once if you have the money. But if you don't, guys, like this week, uh, order the, the the water filter. Next week, uh, order the hoses. Next week after that, order the the, the wand and etc. And then little by little, it's kind of like putting a puzzle together, right? You're not going to put a thousand piece puzzle together overnight. So, you know, uh, get one piece at a time. That's my point. And uh, so with this, you know, with the... Oh, by the way, I want to show you. So round one, I did the flat just like I did that, uh, the, the gun holster. And then here I'm doing the gloss just to explain to you guys what it is that I'm doing. But anyway, so here's my point, guys. You know, with that, uh, the trailer build <clears throat> um, blueprint, you're going to be able to go, okay, this week here, I'm doing this. This week here, I'm going to do this right here. So you'll be able to go week by week by week, because like I was saying, there's, there's, there's what, nine, 10 things on there. Like, for example, uh, you know, doing your marketing, you might take one weekend to do that. <clears throat> Um, painting it, you might take another week to do that. Installing your 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 box, your toolbox, you might take a week to do that. Painting the toolbox, you might take a week to do that, and so forth. So, me in real time, it's taking me about twenty five hours to do this build. It's going now. I and I have experience doing builds. 
So, and then plus with you guys studying, right? Because that's what you're doing, R&D. You're doing all of this research. With you studying this uh, this series that we're doing, you're going to be able to save yourself a lot of time, energy, effort, and money because you're not going to, you know, buy the wrong things. So the bottom line is, you know, take your time. Don't stress yourself. It's little by little. You do it every week. You chip away at it like you're chipping away at a like like a piece of stone with a chisel. You know what I mean? Just just chisel away, chisel away. But there you have it. And uh, but uh, let's go back together in a shop and uh, do a walk around of this thing together. OK, here we are, guys. I wanted to uh, do a final walk around here of the toolbox. As you guys can see, uh, I we went through two rounds of paint, one flat, one glossy. And this is the final result here. And then I also painted in the back. You guys remember right here. Um, you know the the brackets you see that right there the brackets i also painted them painted the back here we'll do a little walk around here i used a total of uh five cans so i think it was a total of like 40 35 40 bucks something like that worth of uh actual spray paint oh yeah and the the vice look at that guys so much better and you see how it blends doesn't stick out that blue would have really stuck out here on top of this toolbox but like I said, I mean, it, it's, and you see it on there, I mean, it's just so nice. And that's why we do, or I like to do the the first round with the flat, and then the 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 second round with the, with the glossy. And then you see here, back here, look, paint it all down here. And then also the, the bolts in the brackets there, so you can't even really see it. So there you go. And let me show you what I've done here in the inside here. Give me a second here, guys, as I open this thing up. Okay, hold on a second. I think it's already open. Let me show you what I did here on the inside. Now, you guys remember, see, uh, I put uh, a little mat. This mat, by the way, I picked up at uh, Lowe's and also put it here. Um, I picked up at Lowe's for, <clears throat> I want to say it was like, Guys, I think I paid 17 bucks or 18 bucks, something like that. But uh, but yeah, and then I just cut it, and then I it, as a liner for the toolbox, so it's uh, it's all good to go. But uh, you guys want to see something really cool? Check this out. A little bit of magic there for you guys. As I was saying before, you know, uh, one of the biggest advantages of a toolbox is organization right guys and look at this look at all the stuff that i got in here this is just an example of things that you would have uh, in your toolbox you see that i got a backup downstream injector i got a bunch of tips white tips oh some of you guys have been asking me about this whether or not we use this 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 right here see this fat boy right here wow and this is the really expensive one this is the really 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 good one it's called a turbo nozzle guys this is awesome for cleaning concrete especially uh basement uh stairwells i got my uh see that got my uh j rod in here okay so it's a great place for it because you got to remember all our hoses are going to go right there our hose reels then i got a toolbox with you know miscellaneous things including uh zip ties i got my my uh, uh, two different toolboxes here full of parts that i might need out in the field so it's got hose barbs it's got um you know all kinds of different fittings for oh for the for the hoses and all of that stuff and i wanted to show you this right here you see this guys so some of you guys have asked me you know if uh how come we don't use a uh, you know the gun without the lance and you see this right here so we do we just haven't made any content with it yet but you see that's got a mosmatic mosmatic swivel on it and uh you know super 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 awesome setup and at some point uh we will do some uh, content with it and uh by the way this is how we do most like 90 percent of our gutters is with this gun and then we have a small surface cleaner right here for you guys this is a 16 inch surface cleaner again um this is like let's say something happens to your yellow one and, and you can't use it or you have a very small patio. The the reason why I like this one is because it's just a gun attachment, so you don't have to turn your machine off or anything. And you could just attach it to the end of your wand. We got a backup hose. This is 100 feet, have, hasn't even been um, cut or anything yet. You see that is brand new. And then we got, you can see here, backup wand. Look at that, with the mosmotic swivel on it. 
So we have our main gun, which we'll use, which is on our gun holster. We have a backup wand in case our wand breaks. We have a, a dustpan back here, a bucket. Look at this, guys. In a bucket, I have a, a brush, uh, empty spray bottle in case, like, for example, you know, I want to use one of the chemicals like uh, F9 Bark or uh, rust removal. And then I have a, a closed bottle of LA Awesome in here in case I want to do some oxidation removal. And then right here, you see that's I got some hose fittings right here. I got uh, alligator clamps uh, in case I need that and then some other wrenches and this right here where my finger is that's a cutter in case I need to cut anything but anyway that, that that's an example right there and of course you know having the right tools is gonna save you a lot of time because if something happens in the field you can just boom put it on your vise change out a part and you're not gonna have any downtime at all let me close this so you guys can see and there we have it guys and that's it for this uh for this uh this part of the toolbox and so you know i uh i really appreciate you guys tuning into part three and also for following the series and uh, make sure you guys that uh, you know you help me out and you share this information out there in the you know the social medias and all that so it helps me get this out to a wider audience and uh it, make sure also you tune into tune into the next episode Guys, in the next episode, we're actually going to be uh, putting the hardware together. So we're going to start with our hose reels, and uh, we're going to put the base the base together, and we're going to paint it. And then I'm going to show you guys how I bolt that down. So make sure you tune into that. And then, as always, I've mentioned this several times. If you guys want a blueprint, want the blueprint for how I get this done, you know, uh, just go ahead and email me. You will find my email in the description below and uh, i really appreciate you guys i uh, thank you for supporting my channel and as always 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 i'll catch you guys on the next one bubbles out